not starting no stuff, there ain't gonna be no stuff. Okay. This. Try to catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two skitter, yeah, we heading for the sun. Try to got my high, I ain't tripping for the fun. Woo, guys, what's going on this morning? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's Welcome going back on? to the Justin Mahogany YouTube channel, guys. It's Sugar Mahogany. It's your boy, Justin. Oh my God, why did you have to say it like that? It's your boy, Justin. Uh, Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell. And when you do, make sure you got comment down below. Mm -hmm. So that we know that you did. Mm -hmm. And we can shout you out. Listen, y'all, we up in this room this morning <coughs> chilling. Yeah, we're chilling, guys. Just put in an Instacart order. Well, that was probably about 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. um, kind of just relaxing. Um, we got our... Excuse me, guys. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Lord. You ain't got that Rona or that, that, that monkeys, do you? Yeah, just tell just leave me alone. You got them Ronas um, or monkeys. But, uh, People yeah. Call, you got to check even your family members. Don't be coughing around me. I bind you. That I'm monkey won't sick. attack me. I'm not sick. What they say, that COVID. COVID, yeah. <laughs> you know, they say COVID. They say COVID. COVID. I know that's right. That um, thing won't attack me. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sitting there. I got, do got a problem this morning. Huh. I do got a bro, I got a big issue with you this morning. You mm -hmm. got a big issue. Why you always gotta have my shirt on? Oh y'all, his shirts be so comfortable. I know I'm not the only one that wears her husband's shirts and stuff. Ain't no way I'm the only one. What's wrong with your drawers? What's wrong no, with the clothes wrong with in your stuff. drawers? A lot of my stuff though be so like I have well, I have a few pieces of clothing, but not a lot that's like, you know, loose. A lot of my stuff is, you know, tight or you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just want to do big clothes. I don't want to do like be given. Hold on, hold on. You said big clothes. Hold up, hold up. That's very offensive. Why is my clothes called big clothes? Bigger clothing, Justin. It's Why bigger than bigger? My... You, you just like my clothing. That's very <laughs> rude. But yeah. compared to my clothes, isn't it bigger? Huh? Compared to my size, isn't it bigger? It's an upper size. It's not oh your size. Oh my gosh. Justin, people, you gotta watch out for they be trying to play you on the low. They be trying I know, to play. Right? You know how people be like, how how your little business doing? Yeah. How they how they look how they little church here? How they look how they look how they little ministry? How they little business? How that how they look how they little conference? How conference. they little, they people be trying to put little in front of your stuff. Don't let nobody Next time, don't let never nobody put nothing little in front of anything, anything that, you that you do. Okay. Listen, make them put some respect on the, your stuff. Okay. But anyway, y'all do um, I do got yeah, my Got all every time we vlog though, um, for this channel, it seems like we be vlogging in the morning, so I still be having morning hair. But we need to put say? a brush to it, Justin. Anyway, y'all, I had ordered an Instacart this morning because uh, your things ain't have nothing at the heights. You need to get the Instacart membership though at this part because you be Listen. you and Instacart are like BFFs. Did anybody ask BFFs. you? Did anybody ask you what I needed? BFFs. Anyway, y'all, let's go and get this Instacart order because we got to get my coffee going this morning and uh, you need to get to cooking. You got stuff to do around here. You got stuff to do. You got stuff to do around here. You got stuff to do. You got stuff to do. Come on, y'all. So let's see what we order. I, they dropped the stuff. I guess I got, I do have it in my settings night to ring the doorbell. Yeah, because so. a lot of times we order Instacart in the morning and so you don't want to ride to wake the kids. So. No, you don't want nobody to wake them up. They there. up now, but. There you go, huh? Hold it. Let me get all this stuff from there. Don't you know? Ooh, feels good out here this morning. I know, right? It feels good. All right, all right. So we got, we got. Had to order some pampers this morning. Mm -hmm. And then we got all our different stuff right Grocery. here. Grocery. I see that Maxwell coffee. Huh? I see that Maxwell coffee. You know, you better see it, child. Listen. Listen. Got my coffee cup right what here. That? You, got, you gotta have that Maxwell. Coffee. That's my favorite coffee. Comment down below what y'all's favorite coffee is. Um, this shirt looks like it could be mine. It is big, though, but it looks like it could be mine well, to me. Mine, this shirt can't be yours. It looked like, because, you know, so I gotta. That's why you always lying. Yo, that shirt can't be yours. I'm talking about that shirt can be hers, y'all. But anyway, comment down below to y'all what kind of coffee y'all be drinking. I drink Maxwell Breakfast Blend. That's what I prefer. I can never find Breakfast Blend on the Instacart app for some reason, though. So I just get the original roast off uh, Instacart. So you making coffee this morning? Yeah, I'll make the coffee or something. You something, something, yeah. Something, 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 something. Well, we know we need you to make the coffee. Why? Need you to do a little something, something. How you doing, Huh? Okay. I don't know. 
you do, you be doing. Let me go and give you your props with props is due. Everybody say, yay! You do. Nah, you being sarcastic with it. No, I was getting, I was like, yay! Anyway, I gotta I order two them. of these. Gotta check my Instacart. They might have got it wrong. Might have to do a claim. Um, y'all need to spin the block and bring my my one pack of uh, my one pack of different ones. Yep, yeah, yep. So my my hotness over there. She's doing the coffee this morning. Yeah. I'm getting ready to uh, prepare the kids. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, ice is falling out. All my hotness ice, and then I'm getting ready to prepare the kids uh, breakfast right quick. Really? You still ain't got your coffee prepared? No, because I was sitting there thinking I was in deep thought, but what am I need? What do I, I need to call? You think about me? Huh? Justin. You think about me? Anybody think about you for a second? Think about me. Yeah, excuse my outfit. You think about me? Justin. We know you're down here. Got the sex here. That's that's a big day to this morning. Oh Y'all got the little I tight shorts on. Excuse my outfit. Here you go. Bring the camera all back. She bring it back. Bring it back. Boom, boom, boom. Bring it back, bring it back. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, let me get these kids prepared some food. What were you saying? Um, Just, yeah, no, I'm saying I was. Uh, they ripped to the right side of your pants. They ripped. They ripped a long time ago. Did I scratch them things like that? You want to have. You, you might have. have. You might have. Oh, you might have. Oh, cheeks. You might have. Oh. Uh, I'm going to throw my stuff like that. But y'all, yeah, I'm going to throw this um, in the trash. But, man, I tell you, what you making for breakfast? Oh, uh, they're gonna get some pancakes, uh, some uh, grapes, and uh, let's see, grapes and some whatever else, and some blueberries. I think. Something like that. They get a lot of fruit this morning. And you know, that's what I was thinking too. Even for us, I want to start eating like a lot of fruit in the morning. Uh -huh. Like instead of like because they say biscuits and all that stuff. Well, not biscuits, but you know, eating heavy food in the morning is really not good for you and your productivity. Mm. So I really want to start. No, nothing. He says good for you not talk so much in the morning. All right, well, whatever. I'm just messing nah, with you. Nah. Now they do say fruit. You they do say y'all fruit is really good for you. Like you know, having a lot of fruit. Well, um, you know that much. Good. Good. Not a lot of fruit, but in the morning. Yeah. It helps your productivity system and stuff. So, so I've really been thinking about um, incorporating mm -hmm. fruit in like our morning routine. I think that'll be really, really, really good. Instead of getting like biscuits and sausages and chicken and all that, if we do like a lot of fruit, I think that'll be good. Comment down below you know what y'all think. Need, and if you we do need to incorporate some other stuff in our morning routine too. What? Huh? What? We need to incorporate some other stuff in our morning routine. Hey, they gonna pour that stuff down. She taking you a minute. Oh, that! What you doing? Taking all day to pour this coffee. God, y'all, come on. The coffee ain't made it in there yet, y'all. But what I was saying is, we need to incorporate some more uh stuff in our morning routine. And what's that? Huh? And what's that? You know what I mean? A what's that, man? Um, um, a little too, too. We need to do a morning routine, a true morning routine for couples. All we need right. to do a ver couple variations. What it looks like when you're running busy, and then what it looks like when you need to make some love. Yeah, because it is too. Yeah, because it, it ain't always. It ain't always peaches and cream. Okay, especially like when you guys are. Um, whether you're entrepreneurs or you work a nine to five, it doesn't matter. When you're trying to get out the door for work, or when you're trying to start work, you have a whole different routine. Then when you are like, you know, lovey-dovey, trying to be cozy, trying to be romantic. But I'm trying to match the way I can do that lovey-dovey even when we gotta go to work. Child, Justin, um. what they say? what they say? What's that? That dance. I don't know that dance. Uh, I don't know that from TikTok too. I've been on TikTok, but I want to get back and like do them dances. Remember when we used to do that? That was so fun. Yeah, we had a good time, y'all. But also, too, I wanted to talk about, because I remember we had the conversation not too long ago, about people playing the victim. Remember we had talked about that? Oh, yeah, we had talked about that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was like, we wanted to chat it out with you guys and get your comments and your feedback. Mm -hmm. Um, because and, and, I know we, what? And, and people always starting stuff, playing the victim. Starting stuff. And my, my rule is, don't, you better not start no stuff, but no, ain't gonna be no stuff. Okay. Listen, y'all gotta watch people. Gotta be out here playing the victim. People be, be out here lying. People love to lie. People love to lie. Or they love to turn something that it is what it's not. 
Right, right, right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I don't listen. I don't even play. I don't even play with it. But, but people, you gotta understand. When people don't have much of a life themselves, they have to be highly invested in yours, and they gotta that's the truth. flip your scenario, flip your stuff. But I mean, when you don't care, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's like they're talking to nobody. They don't talk to nobody. <laughs> they don't talk but, about, and at half the time, they don't even know what they talking about. They don't. They trying to piece something and to go. And if I said people, remember I told you that not too long ago. Right. People will go somewhere. Oh. You'll be all the way up there in your future mm-hmm. and try to bring you back to something they want you to explain, but they, they don't need to explain. Cause they ain't nothing to define. They want nothing though. It was no findings. Right. right. Anyway, don't start no stuff. It won't be no stuff. The Bible said turn the cheek. And then turn the but when I turn my other, I ain't got my two cheeks. When I turn my other cheek, I'm cut co- listen, I'm coming after you. Shut me down. Better hear y'all on the That's when when that when when you've turned one cheek mm-hmm. and you turn the second one, that's when you need God's grace to come in. You need God's grace. Because without God's grace, child, it, it, yeah, uh, when Jake say don't worry about me popping my neck. I've been in pop I'm going to pop okay. your trust But God's me. grace comes in. Um, but like I was saying about people playing the victim, mm-hmm. I feel like people, and then y'all comment down below too, because I'm sure y'all experience a situation where people try to change stuff and flip it around and be something that is not. That's what people do. Um, and that's just life. I know y'all probably have experienced that with family members or friends, and you like, that's not even what that was. And you flip that around and, and change the whole narrative. Um, but, you know, also, when it comes to people playing the victim, I think it's interesting. And you guys chime in, too, how, you know, I'm a big person on communication. So, I'm really big on communication. If we have a situation, if we have an issue, I love to communicate, you know, with my friends or family, whatever. And, you know, work through situations because that's healthy communication. Mm-hmm. Um, it's working through things, you know, with that person. You know, you don't have to burn the bridge. Just work through it. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, when people are set in that victim mentality where they want to play the victim... You can't even work through a challenge because they're not even knowledge, acknowledging what they did, okay? Mm-hmm. So, you know, the thing is, I just find it interesting how people like to do the victim mentality. And, you know, for those of you who may be somebody who plays the victim mentality, listen, I'm not, I'm not shunning you out or anything. But, you know, it's important that you acknowledge what you have done. You acknowledge what you have done in the situation, in the relationship, that way you guys can move forward because if you don't know what you've done, you can't even deal with what's at hand because you haven't even acknowledged it. Mm-hmm. And for those of you who may be like, well, I've been in a situation and people play the victim, they act like they don't know what they did. People know what they did to you. They might try to run over it and act like they ain't do nothing or, you know, y'all had an incident and then next time they see you, they're like, hey, girl, no, we're not going to run over top of it. Mm-hmm. We're going to sit down. We're going to talk about it. And you're not going to play the victim like you didn't know what you did mm-hmm. because healthy relationships are formed and are built upon and are created when people sit down, they talk, and they don't play the victim. And like I just said, if you don't start no stuff, there won't be no stuff. You won't have no reason to play the victim. But life happens. So mm-hmm. when life happens, having conversations and getting people out of that victim mentality, victim role, that looks really, really good with you guys. Oh, yeah, that's looking good, guys. You got some pancakes, fruit on there. They're going to put some more blueberries on there. Get some syrup, butter, you know, hook it up. Mm-hmm. Gotta wash some more fruit, but I yeah, kids, yeah. I kids hate eggs, y'all. Huh. I don't know what it is, but yeah, every like child. Eggs. And the thing is, me and Justin love eggs, but every single child, every single child, does not like eggs. What mm-hmm. is that about? Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, have you ever experienced people being the victim before? I mean, you know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And people like to. People want to. It's attention seeking. Yeah. Where they will uh, play the victim, or people just. People, and sometimes, I was reading something not too long ago, and this was deep, Mm -hmm. and they say you never can do anything about their response, but you can do something about how you respond. You can't do nothing about what people do to you, but you can do something about how you respond to it. How you respond, but somebody, I, I heard it that way too, but I've also heard it that way. You can't do it or how people basically their actions, but they was talking it was too odd. Basically, how they respond to some, you basically can only control your response, mm-hmm. and 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 that is so important because, like I say, people are attention seeking and people want to turn stuff that it is and it's not. And you got to learn that even when people want to play the victim or try to get you down or something like that, listen, I've learned turn the other cheek. 
you listen, when they start stuff, listen, there won't be no stuff. But you, if you start messing with family and coming coming up against me, oh, we, we, we listen, we're going we gonna to have an issue. God going to get you. That's one thing I know about God. God will get you. That's for sure. Okay. God will get you. God has a way of getting you. But yeah, dealing with people and just their whole playing the victim, you, we've seen that many times. Many times, many times. And I know we ain't the only one, you know, that have experienced people that have tried playing the victim. Um, and it's just not healthy. I have a friend that's a therapist. She's amazing. If I think on her Instagram, I would tell you guys, because she creates the best reels about just dealing with people and, you know, different things like that when it comes to playing the victim. I mean, she talks about everything. She's a therapist, but... Um, she, you know, has even just talked, we've talked and had conversations before and, you know, she said it's so much behind when people play the victim, you know what I'm saying? It's so much deeper than you, honestly, you know, you think it's about you in a sense where people are like not acknowledging what they did and you think like, why they treat me like this? But a lot of the times hurt people hurt people. Oh yeah. We know that much, but hurt people hurt people. And also, you know, it'd be so much going on behind the scenes in people's lives. And what they end up doing is they end up projecting whatever they're going through onto you. And what I mean by that is people could be going through financial struggles, feeling lost in life, no sense of purpose, don't know what they're doing, um, just feeling unworthy. And what they do is they'll project, they might not project those exact things to, on you. Sometimes they'll do that, but what they can do, and a lot of times what they'll do is they'll project negative vibes or negative energy or just negativity towards you mm -hmm. or even towards y'all's relationship that y'all have just because they're going through things. And you gotta be careful with people who just because they're going through situations, they wanna invite misery into your life. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever met somebody just because they having a bad day, now they coming to make your day bad? Oh, and it's yeah. just like, just because you having a bad day, you need to go and you need to go manage that. I'll be your friend and I'll talk to you and I'll help you through and I'll aid you, but you can't come over here and make my life feel like it's bad just because you having a bad day. That's not fair. That's the truth. So you got to be careful of just different kind of people. Um, you know, and like I said, a lot of time it has nothing to do with you. That's why I never take criticism, never take hate, never take none of that stuff personal. I don't. Um, simply because it's always got something to do with them, not you. Mm -hmm. Not not you. Because life is so busy. There's so much things going on in life. And when people have time to take time to just make you have a bad day or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. They're taking time away from their life. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's why Tabitha Brown says, uh, I love Tabitha. I love Tabitha. If you can't go, go, if you can't go have a good day, don't you go messing up somebody else's. And but, but I want to let you know, I want for those that are watching this video, I want, I want to let you know something. Uh, God, God is, God is calling you to be, do great things in life. God is calling you to destiny, to a success. And we've always talked about recently what uh, Tyler Perry said. Tyler Perry said, uh, somebody asked him, uh, you know, Kevin Hart asked him, how did he get where he got? And he said, a lot of people ask me that question. He said, the truth is, I want to tell him I ignored your ass because I ignored you. It's the reason I got into where I am. And, 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 and you, you have to learn that when with the 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 trial the trail that God has caused you to blaze, there are going to be people that don't want you to get there. Yeah. They don't like how you do it. Yeah. They don't like what you do. Yeah. And but one thing I want to encourage everybody that's watching this video: don't let nobody change how God has called you to do it. If they don't like it, so be it. Right. There's an audience for you that do like it. Okay. There's an arena for you that people will sell out and come to hear you. That's just exactly. because there's a very few that don't like you. Just because there's a very few that's trying to you sabotage you. What God has called you to do. Let me tell you something. What God has ordained in your life, can't nobody sabotage it. Can't nobody go back in your past and try to pull out something from that doesn't even have, they don't even have a clue what they talking about and try to sabotage the destiny that God has for you. So I want this to be an encouragement. I want this to be a public announcement to all of your people, all of the people that you need to send it to, that God has a unique special place and things for you in this life yeah. and can no devil in hell sabotage it or stop you from getting there see yeah. they don't like this type of message they don't share this type of message they don't talk about this type of message but i'm here to tell you don't let nobody stop you don't think about things that happened in your past even if they were mistakes in your past don't let nobody 
even put in your mind that they can, they have power over your future. Ain't no devil in hell. Ain't no devil in here. Ain't no demon in here. Ain't no hater. Ain't no bl hat blogger. Ain't nobody got power over your future but God. So listen, don't let nobody, even if they start stuff, it won't be no stuff. That's that's the real message here. Even if they start stuff, it won't be no stuff. I don't care what fire they, they might can light a fire, but I'm telling I serve a God. He's the God of breath. He's the God that put breath in our lungs, and he's the God that will blow your fire right that down. So make sure you be encouraged. Don't let nobody tell you about you're never going to be some because of this or because of that or they're trying to stop. Ain't nobody can sabotage what God has for you. And if you don't like it, I don't care. Ain't nobody caring about your opinion. Go somewhere and sit down. Well, I'm trying to tell y'all. That's a word. Don't let nobody. So when you talk about, you, you don't, you got to even get in this thing when you ain't got to fight for yourself because God is going to fight your battles. You hear me? So what they talking about? So what they did this to you? So what they did that to you? And let me tell you, when God gets ready to bless, he's going to do it. Don't matter. He's the same God yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Who cares? Y'all see what I'm saying? So be encouraged. So when they start stuff, it ain't going to be no stuff. Because every name that's above God has to bow. I don't care what you, I don't care if you're Muslim, I don't care if you're non-Christian, my God is still over because his name is above every name and he will come and shut it down. Listen, I've seen people trying to sabotage people and turn, come right back, come right back. Be careful. I'm telling y'all in this season, be careful who you put your mind on. People got more power than you think. Listen, because when God gets fed and then the legal system gets fed, listen, it's going to be something terrible. I'm listen, I'm trying to help somebody this morning. So don't start nothing. You can start all you want, but it ain't gonna be nothing. Go somewhere and sit down. <laughs> Nobody knew you before you start talking about me because cause your life ain't important. I'm sorry to tell you. Sit down. Anyway, praise the Lord. I'm that's an encouragement message because somebody's dealing with that. So I want that to be an encouragement to you. Get up, go for it. Can't nobody stop your destiny. Can't nobody sabotage. I went ahead and preached on somebody. Because you, when you never let nobody think since they start, so they can stop your train, yeah. stop the movement of what God is doing because they telling everybody, this. tell them, baby. But the more, one thing about my God, the more you talk, the more he gets more. Because one thing about God, and God turns everything for the for, for my good. He don't care nothing about what you say. You can try to sabotage all you want. He'll bring, he'll come in different. You can't, you don't even know the plans of God. You're going to be so busy trying to sabotage me, but you're going to sabotage your own life. Come on. Go somewhere and sit down. Come on. So I want y'all to focus on it. Those that are current saying, with people talking this and people saying I get this. A lot. I get a lot of people, yeah. especially females that DM me. They're like, girl, you know, I want to do this. I want to start a business. I want to do a YouTube. I want to do that. But people say this about me. People say that. This is your message. Yeah. Can't nobody sabotage you. So what? I don't care what your past look like. God got a future for you. Focus on that and you will get there. You hear what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Listen, I, I bless y'all. I listen. I had to dig into that thing. Because can't nobody yeah, stop yeah. what God has over your life. I don't care what they bring up. I don't care what it is. The same God that brought you through it, he'll bring you through it again. Don't let nobody stop you. Do what you got to do. Put all your things in place and watch God fight your battle. The Bible says he never sleeps, nor does he slumber. And that means if he doesn't sleep, at sleep, I don't need to stay up. Because one day, I'm telling you, God, you won't, be, you won't even be thinking about it. Listen, God, I'm telling you, God, God will remove. He's a God. Of, he, he's a God. He's a he, He's an angry God. He gets angry, too. He will come on. He'll call storms in your life. I'm telling you. Y'all better watch who you put in your mouth on these days. You'll walk outside and lighten and catch your life. I'm trying to tell you. That's just the kind of God I serve. So don't pay no, you ain't got time to worry about because God going to deal with who he needs to deal with. Don't start no stuff. Even if you start it, it ain't going to be nothing. Uh -uh. So I'm going to leave you with the words of Tap the Brand like I always like. Go have a good day. Go mind your business. And then if you can't have a good day, don't go messing up somebody else's. Uh -huh. But listen, 
we're going to all claim, if you watch it, put that in the comments. Even if you try to mess up my day, you can't. Because uh -uh. the joy of the Lord is my strength. Listen, watch God fight those battles. Can't nobody sabotage you, even if they start. Man. I just want you to know. It may, it may flare up, but we serve the God that will blow that fire right on now. Listen, we love you. Peace. Try to catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two-seater, yeah, we heading for the sun. Try to 